Hello, my name is Joe Torres, and I am the manager for the Clinical Services Department at St. James School of Medicine. In this video, we will be discussing what the residency match is, how it works, and what medical students need to know to navigate the process successfully. Let's start with the basics. After completing medical school, aspiring physicians must complete a residency program to receive specialized training in their chosen field of medicine. The residency is a period of intense training that typically lasts between three and seven years, during which time the resident will work closely with experienced physicians to learn the skills necessary to practice independently. The residency matches the process by which medical students apply for and are assigned to residency programs. The match is a nationwide system that is managed by the National Residency Matching Program, or NRMP, and is designed to ensure that all residency positions are filled fairly and efficiently. So how does this match work? The process begins in the fall of a medical student's final year, when they begin applying to residency programs. Students can apply to as many programs as they like, but they must do so through the Electronic Residency Application Service, or ERAS which is a centralized system that allows students to submit their applications to multiple programs at once. Once applications have been submitted, residency programs review them and invite selected applicants for interviews. These interviews typically take place between November and January and are a critical part of the selection process. During interviews, applicants have the opportunity to learn more about the program and to demonstrate their qualifications and fit for the position. After interviews have been completed, applicants and programs submit their rank preferences to the NRMP. This is where the match algorithm comes into play. The algorithm takes into account the preferences of both the applicants and programs and attempts to assign each applicant to the program that is highest on their list of preferences and that also has an available position. On match day, which typically occurs in mid-March, applicants and programs receive their match results simultaneously. Students who have matched to a program will receive a letter of acceptance, while those who did not match will enter to the Supplemental Offer and Acceptance Program, or SOAP, which is a process that allows unmatched applicants to apply for remaining positions so what do medical students need to know to navigate the match successfully? First and foremost, it is important to start preparing early. Students should begin researching programs and specialties well in advance of the application process, and they should also be proactive in seeking out opportunities to gain relevant experience and make connections in their field of interest. Another important aspect of the match is the personal statement. This is the student's opportunity to showcase their unique strengths and qualifications and to demonstrate why they are a good fit for a program. Students should take the time to carefully craft their personal statement and to have it reviewed by a trusted mentor or advisor. Finally, it is important for students to be strategic in their approach to the match. While it may be tempting to apply to as many programs as possible, it is important to focus on programs that are a good fit for the student's interests and qualifications. Additionally, students should carefully consider the location, culture, and other factors that may impact their experience in the program. The residency match is a critical step in the journey to becoming a physician. It is a complex and competitive process, but with careful preparation and a strategic approach, medical students can successfully navigate the match and secure a position in their desired residency program. Here at St. James School of Medicine, we are proud of our more than 600 graduates who have successfully matched into the residency of their choice in the United States. I would also like to wish you the best of luck in your own residency match journey. Tell us in the comments how your match process went and where you matched. We love to hear a good success story. If you like the content of this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.